Hello everyone, in this video we have this interesting problem. We have 6 to the power 2012 plus 6 to the power 2013 all divided by 6 to the power x and everything is equal to 7. Before we start, pause the video and try first. And if you are new here, consider subscribe. There's no charges on that and you can change your mind at any time. Thanks a lot for subscribing. Now let's get started. First, I'm going to multiply each side of this equation by 6 to the power x. Okay, so that this whole thing will cancel this straight away. So we have 6 to the power 2012 plus 6 to the power 2013 is equal to 7 times 6 to the power x. All right, now let's go ahead and then simplify this further. We have 6 to the power 2012 plus, now 6 to the power 2013 could also be written as 6 times 6 to the power 20. 12. All right, and this is equal to 7 times 6 to the power x. Now, if you are wondering why I did this, the reason is that I wanted to produce something just like this so that I can factorize it, right? Now, since my aim has been accomplished, I'm going to factor 6 to the power 2012 out. So we have 6 to the power 2012 into 1 plus 6. All right, and this is equal to 7 times 6 to the power x. Now simplifying this, we have 6 to the power 2012 times 7 is equal to 7 times 6 to the power x. All right, now from here, let's go ahead and divide each side of this equation by 7 so that this one will cancel this and then this one will cancel this as well. So we have 6 to the power 2012 is equal to 6 to the power x. Now you can see the bases are the same, so let's go ahead and then equate the exponent. So we have x is equal to 2012 and this is our final answer now let's go ahead and then verify our answer we have 6 to the power 2012 plus 6 to the power 2013 all divided by 6 to the power x but x is 2012 okay all right and this must be equal to 7 all right now let's go ahead and then split this fraction so we have 6 to the power 2012 divided by 6 to the power 2012 plus 6 to the power 2013 divided by 6 to the power 2012. And this must be equal to 7, right? Now straight away you can see that this one and this one will cancel. So we have 1 over here, then plus. Now from indices, if I have a to the power b over a to the power c, this is the same as a to the power b minus c. So I'll apply the same formula here. We have 6 to the power 2013 minus 2012. And this must be equal to 7. Now considering this exponent, 2013 minus 2012 is nothing but 1. Okay, so we have 1 plus 6. And this must be equal to 7. And of course, 1 plus 6 is nothing but 7. And you can see the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. So we can say that x equals 2012 is a solution to the problem. So guys, I hope you found this video useful. Please consider subscribed and also don't forget to like this video. Take good care of yourself. See you again on the next video.